Could you tell us who you are? Yeah, I am uh, Professor Petrescu from uh, the Polytechnica University of Bucharest. Uh, I work for the Department of Computer Science. I've been working since uh, 1969, so a lot of years. Um, what can I tell you about this project? I entered into this project because I feel it is very challenging and from the information technology and communication point of view is very well suited to our needs and uh, of course to our infrastructure. Uh, I can mention, for instance, that the um, bandwidth of uh, most of the places in uh, not only in Bucharest but in the whole country is uh, one of the best speed in terms of speed and coverage. In, in Europe? Uh, uh, in the world. In the world? In the world. The speed is uh, considered to be the second in the world after the United States. Uh, we have uh, fiber optics. We have, uh, of course, uh, wireless connection. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, smartphones and the GPRS, uh, there are uh, three majors, major uh, providers. One is uh, probably the, the biggest is the Vodafone, you've heard of it, Orange, and uh, Cosmote, which is a Greek company connected to the Romanian uh, company Ram Telecom. Uh, and uh, in terms of uh, subscription, uh, the number of uh, uh, subscription uh, in this uh, three companies is more than the population of Romania itself. So you have many smartphones in Romania, they are widespread? I think so, I think so. Mm -hmm. And probably the, the, in the market the, the best uh, uh, represented is Android operating system right now. And uh, on the second place, I wouldn't put on the second place iPhone, but I would put uh, Windows uh, Phone as operating system. Uh, we have to think in terms of our project, which will be the best or uh, the first solution to the, probably the Android solution. So, um, what about um, uh, the uh, economical infrastructure in Romania, would you say that uh, there is interest from the industry to pick up on solutions? Uh, the economic infrastructure meaning uh, uh, IT companies and things like that? Yeah. Commercial? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll give you some examples. Uh, we have uh, Oracle that uh, has a technical support for the whole Europe established in Bucharest. Uh, over 3,000 employees. We have IBM, we have uh, Microsoft, we have uh, Intel that develops with uh, almost 500 uh, researchers and developers. They develop software for in the Intel microprocessor, uh, which says something. Uh, among the uh, companies that would be interested about our project would be probably Oracle and IBM, and we have very good connections with them. Do you think that the, the, the patients will be able to manage the new technology? Do you think they will be able to deal with that? Uh, meaning uh, regular people? Okay. If we... Uh, uh, users, uh, let's say users of our applications, right? Uh, if we are... Uh, if we start from the bottom, from the needs and the, from the psychological, uh, um, let's say, uh, framework of our users, then it will be a success. If we uh, think only as engineers or researchers or scientists, it will be a failure. So we have to be in, uh, in touch with the lowest level. That's why I propose that the interaction between the smartphone and, uh, and the, the user should be even by voice messages and answers, interactions, not by image and buttons, push this button. I think I am sick, I am bored, I may have some depression as we said before. Okay, let's encourage him with some music, some messages, okay. Excellent. And I think 
will, will have a success.